coming in and having a bit more opportunity this year. It was kind of just continuing to trust, you know, the process that we were working at. Things are obviously starting to click a little bit more than they have in the past. Joe, in your first three years here at St. Cloud State, you averaged less than three goals a season. This year, you already have six goals, including a hat trick, and you were named NCHC Ford of the Week after the Miami series. It's only November. I need to know what you're eating in your cereal because if we could bottle it, we would be millionaires. <laughs> was it the off-season workouts? Was it more ice time? What was it? This summer was really big for Mimi and uh, Coach Larson had a lot of talks about you know, what was going to get me to that next step. Just did a lot of the right things away from the rank. Big for me to kind of step more into a leadership role this year and kind of just you know, let it all fall into place. Your first career hat trick. Can you give me a little glimpse into what the locker room energy was like? Hat trick aside, I think the guys were just really excited to win. Don't like to think too much about it being, you know, anything because of me, but I think us as a group really, really started to click. That 2018 Minnetonka Skipper team, we talk about it almost every broadcast. If it's not you and Josh Lidke, it's you and an opponent. It seems like these guys are everywhere in college hockey, so what was it about this skipper team that created so many good college hockey players? It's probably a testament to just Minnesota high school in general. Josh and I are here, obviously. We've had teammates from plenty of different schools that we've played in college now. It's fun to see them when they come to town, but it, it means a little bit more. What's your earliest memory of you lacing up the skates for the first time? My grandpa always tells me a story about how I was on the ice. My mom called him kind of in a panic because I was just like, get me out of here, I, I can't stand this. Now I'm playing college hockey, but at the time it, it, it didn't look that way. You had a very special coach growing up, your father. He unfortunately passed away when you were 12, but he has had a huge influence on who you are today and your career path that you've chosen. Can you, can you talk about that? Well, my dad obviously was my best friend growing up and um, the, the way I am is because of him. Hockey was a big passion of his and losing him at a young age was tough, but I'm, I'm forever grateful for you know, all the time I got to spend with him. And now that I'm 24, getting able to keep playing that game is, is pretty special to me. If he was still here with us today, what do you think he would say to you? First and foremost, I think he'd tell me he's really proud of me. Um, and then it's a hypothetical question I think about a lot. To be able to see him and talk to him would be, would be really special. And him and I used to talk about college hockey a bunch. That was a goal of his. He wasn't really able to live out. So he always told me, you know, no matter what, do whatever you can to get, get to that level you want to. You're shining this year. And we're not even halfway through the season. What are your expectations first from yourself and then for your team as we continue on? Personally, it would just be you know, continuing every night to do what I can to help this team succeed. I guess that's kind of been the way I've approached it since I've gotten here and you know that to me won't ever change. From a team's perspective it's just to keep building. As you've seen through the first even month it's been eventful. Do you see yourself playing hockey for as long as you can post St. Cloud State? I like to take it one year at a time. That approach is gonna you know benefit me specifically in just being able to enjoy this year and enjoy the time with the guys here and hopefully we can do something special.